<laughs> Running out of fish. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Welcome back to Spooky Select. Ooh. We're Detective Man Ooh, again. We can go play on the Jungle Gym. There's recess there. <sighs> there was no time for anything else. All I wanted was to get out of that dump pronto. But recess. Jungle Gym. Uh, take there the rag. No time for Slippers, at least? There was no time we gotta get out. Open the door. Hey, you out there. Let me out of here, you dirtbags! Come on, who's out there? Hello? I like how he's standing on the stairs, but not really. Nothing. So, this isn't gonna be easy after all. No. I started to take in my surroundings and... Big bang, boom! Big bang, I was seeing salvation in every little thing that caught a glint. In my mind, they were already shaping into something that would definitely get these goons' attention. I was gonna do big, loud things with petty stuff. Like a poor country using scraps to send a rocket to the moon. <laughs> Put slippers on. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at home in my robe with a stiff drink, a Maurice Ventricle record, and a searing fear of the telephone. Okay. okay. Slippers. We're getting a rag? Yeah, got a rag. Uh, coffee cup? Pennies to pachyderms. I'll find something to fill it. Come hell or high water. Fire extinguisher? Hmm. Extremely powerful, huh? Sounds like a rocket of a time. That was a weird sound. Can of, uh, soup? I could use this. You're just gonna fuck up the guy with this shit. Oh, of course I am. Is that uh, the iPad charging? Yep. Yeah, gonna take that tablet. Distracted is the last thing I want to be right now. <laughs> Distract. Alright, uh, what else we got? Take the junk? Nothing there of any utility. Take my shoe. I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. Not since the separation. <laughs> if I wanted any tar, there's plenty spilled on the floor. Plank? Things are ramping up. Oh, it's the plank with an eye, so it's actually a plank. That's it, a it, it, it. choice for a detention type basement. All right. This plank could make for a nice sloping ramp. All right, uh, tar. The mug on the can't tar. Just pick it up with my bare hands. Mug on the tar. All right, let's get me some of this tar. <laughs> That's uh, tar. Tar in the recess. Here we go. Now it's a little shallow pool of dense, extra sticky tar. Uh, soup can in shallow right, pool of tar. Let's stick this in there. What the heck was I concocting here? It felt abstract, ridiculous, absurd even. The foundation of a really far-fetched and scatterbrained solution to my predicament. But this was a pretty ridiculous adventure already, <laughs> so I guess I was just <laughs> adapting. I was being genre savvy. Stable, empty soup can stuck in tar. Put the plank and on top of that. Plank. This was officially ridiculous. Was I feeling proud of myself? A definite you know, no. But it was all I part had. of me thinks this isn't going to even amount to anything. No, it's not. And then the door will just open. Fire extinguisher on some ramp kind of thing. Look at this. A cringeworthy blue ribbon taker and the crazy enough that it could work regional semifinals. Definitely not a highlight in my career. Assuredly not a low, though. Maybe those late night Mac Viper and Mac and Cheese syndicated binges had some kind of effect on my person. Good old Mac. And cheese. Ooh, cheese. <laughs> Cute adventuritis. <laughs> Fucking st God damn it. Cleaning it won't do a damn thing. Alright, I'm gonna light the thing. Alright, door. Brace for serious imminent impact. Prisoner. The boss Knock him wants out. To see you. Come on out here. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah. Damn Damn it. I don't want to see that happen. <laughs> Mr. Katype, or should I call you Don? No, you shouldn't. 
Ketype will do just fine. <laughs> we provided you with some slippers. Did Brother Gleam not assess your shoe size correctly? Now listen here, Buster. Unless I'm in the comfort of my own home, I don't do slippers. You can leave a man pantless, shirtless even. But don't mess with his footwear symmetry, you barbarian. What is this place and who are you anyway? This is about that damned book, isn't it? How deductive. Earning your keep, huh? Come now, don't take it personally, Katype. You were useful in leading us to it for a while, and then you were no more. We never really wanted to hurt you, or your shoes. You're sullen, grumpy, and mean to everyone. We like you. You would have gone far in our organization. Hmm, well, did you find the darn thing? As soon as the kidnapped troops got you out of there, our recon squad was dispatched to retrieve the volume. So you're really convinced you know its exact whereabouts, huh? Close to 100%, sir. How close? Ah, speak of the devil. All right, Brother Bright, was our information correct? Yes, Brother Starburst. Brother so Starburst. The Necronomicon really Brother was hidden in the Starburst. library? Kind of. Y yes, your starriness. Well, Maybe. Don't just stand there, you fool, and see it. <laughs> well, British you do not really have it. it. What? A sigil was gone, broken into tiny little pieces. And something it's like his droopy dog. But no book in sight. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Could you so don't put it on me, your grand poobah shininess. What about the librarian? It's a funny thing. We ran past each other when we were on our way to collect the tome. He looked so scared. <laughs> well, of course he looks scared. A bomb had just gone off. Anything else? Hmm. I don't think so. <gasps> oh, wait. Yes. He was carrying a big book and didn't seem too happy about it either. Find You're fired. Now! What about me? You don't need me anymore. You know oh, too much. Go back to your little cellar. Now let's be real here for a minute. What good am I to you now, cultist? He's right, Brother Starburst. You just chew into our rations, and you don't know anything either way. Oh, all right. Just sacrifice him to the haunter or something. Stop bothering me. Fine with me, boss. Walk, prisoner. Can I, I don't like the name Haunter. Can I at least get uh, sacrificed to Gengar? Someone from rites and rituals down here ASAP. I'm about to do an R24-A. Come on, guys. You know the drill. Guys. Guys? Sheen? You out there? Everyone? Come on, you know I can't do Jack until we fill out the SNF 187. Don't want any trouble. Bureaucratic cultists. We've been through this, people. Is anyone the most there? evil of all cultists? Guys, prisoners not in sacrificial robes. No ceremonial bucket for the collection. We're really running a shoddy operation here. No wonder EOD is kicking our derriers. Esoteric one to dig on. The prisoners embarrassed. Yeah. This is not looking good, brothers. Sheen? <laughs> this is going on a while. Revolted, didn't you? I can't do anything about this. See when he hears about this, people. This makes us look really, really bad. I almost feel like apologizing to the would be. Can we, can we set off the thing? Hey, don't buddy? feel bad. It's Stop. not your fault. Yeah, well, it sort of is. It's our collective fault. I share in it. I take my responsibilities. I can't Seriously. click on anything. No, oh, yeah. It's not cult anymore. This is unacceptable. Your striving to be a better evil organization is commendable. Aw, thank you. It's nice to know that at least someone here appreciates it. Don't mention it. Okay. There we go. We actually got to use it. Sweet dreams, star lover. Yay! We did it. Is there anything we can take? Can we take the slippers now? I ain't putting on... No. Nope. More tar? I can't just... Tablet? Distract. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, junk? Nothing there of any... Shoe? All right. Just slowly walk on out of here. Ah, oh, poor guy. Oh, sucks to be him. Uh, fire extinguisher. Oh, hey. Get used to 
ठीक है Got my fire extinguisher ram rocket back, and it still packs some punch. Maybe I could squeeze another miracle out of it. Ooh. Oh, cool. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. I don't like how he's twitching like that. Yeah, it's just like you know when a cat or dog twitches in their sleep. It's a heap of astronomy-related instruments. Wait, there's a piece of wire sticking out from it. <laughs> I think I'd rather just pick it up. Okay. Uh. I need something stout and hefty and swung like mad to bring that wall to the ground. I'm not into this desk at all. Oh, it's a good thing it's not yours. I'm using it as I speak. <laughs> uh, bleed my way out and see the cracked surface in the walls. So need the right kind of tool, the right kind of properties. That is very hard and swingable. Can we not use the ladder? Can I go yeah. up the ladder? It's locked, Damn of course. It. How'd I know it'd be locked? <laughs> what the fuck was the point of that? I know I should focus on my escape at that hatch leading up to God knows where is too tempting to ignore. What are these sorry coots up to? What are they hiding up there? It must be a way to get past that metal hatch. Cool. We need to swing something at that. Barricaded from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in here. But it seems that they don't think too highly of that gleam guy either. Poor guy. Nope. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. So that's when we just start using things on things, mm. right? Yeah, but not in my pocket. Yeah, I'm gonna put the wire on the thing. I don't see a reason to use this wire on the stand. Alright, fire extinguisher trying to thing? I was obviously out of my element. That made no sense whatsoever. Shut up. Books? Not in the mood for star stuff, really. Uh. No way to reach it. It's a it's sinister wire yeah. on uh, you. I'll just let him rest. He's at a sinister. I hunger. Right. Wiring. Right then and there, I thought of placing the fire extinguisher on the desk so as to help steer it and set it loose on the cracked surface of the wall. I could make tracks from this place and never look back. It came to me then that doing so would make a mighty commotion, though, and these starry jamooks would be all Jim over me like a shot. I'd never get to explore whatever it was hiding on the other side of that ladder. No, there I stood, a Joe with one foot in a mystery and the other missing a shoe. They missing both shoes. They were against my will, yep. and I wasn't going to leave without first finding out just what the hell they were all about. I had to think of something else. Did you use the wire to, like, uh, pick the lock on the... Yeah, that was my yeah. next, uh... Oh, lock to pick yeah. up, so... No. The ladder? Or the rail? I think I'm... I mean, with the wire. Nope. No, but I'm getting close to a really good idea. Oh, I get it. I gotcha. Wire on the rail. Alright, made a nice little sliding hook thing. Fire That's extinguisher on the wire. There we go. One radical red hot ram rocket ready to go. Okay. And boom. It's ready, steady, and aimed. Fire! That was a piss for, uh. I hope what? I've done you proud, Mac Viper. Mac <laughs> Viper? <laughs> MacGyver. <laughs> What the fuck is in that fire extinguisher? Good lord. Alright, um... Panel lights? I think their only use is indicating it's stuff. An alien spaceship. Cannonball? It's held in place firmly by the matches structure. Quite impressive. And <laughs> unmovable. Matchsticks? 
The dubious mesh constructed security structure won't let me get my hands on it. Huh. Book? Whoa. That seemed to make a lot of things happen at once. Oh no. All it right, looks like a see. puzzle. October 13th. It's so hard to get accustomed to the sickening stench of this dreadful fishing town, but apparently it's important to him that we establish our base here, so we just take it. Decorating coming along nicely. No end to the work. Capital uh, W word. Yep, yep, yep. Seems like some kind of complicated records. Let me skip ahead a bit. Let's see. July oh, God. 6th. We're all accustomed to the stench. It's probably imbued in everyone by now. Summon the haunter, and he came in a flickering form of a tall, swarthy man with skin made of ebony. Ignored my words and asked for the book, then disappeared upon my answer. We must find it, no matter what. July 13th. His incomplete form is frustrating. Must find the book. We must find it. Hmm. That idiot Bright left the hatch open, and Lumen snuck up here into the summoning chamber to try to get the haunter's mark. He says Haunter's what Mark. What fool think would happen? We don't even bother storing their ashes in the urn anymore. Just leave them there as a reminder to anyone stupid enough to try that again. August 6th. Sister Halo's match to copy proved to come in handy. Praise the Haunter! I could scarcely believe my senses when at last she finalized the structure and Brothers Bright and Gleam dropped the cannonball on it. Not only did it not destroy what she built, but it lodged itself in the circular space above the stone and is exerting such pressure on the lattice work that you can take a shovel to it and it won't cave in. That's it's physics for you. Some smart people join the ranks for a change. Only she and I know how to breach it and get to the stone, so that should at least keep our numbers from dropping. August seventh. Private investigator making waves in Darkham, looking for leads. Hmm. Book. That's us. Yep. A dark blessing in disguise. We just stay on his tail. Wait, and track why was he looking for the book? Why else? The book? The Necronomicon? Is that me they're talking about? August thirteenth. Rejoicing! It's very possible that the hostess's fetch dog has sniffed out the buck. Who's the hostess's? Still to find out. Go for the prize ourselves. Mm, mysteries. Hostess. Why did that sound familiar? Anyway, that crazily angled stone. I wanted it. If only to get back at these star obsessed maniacs. So. You see, they are the ones who you know, know how to get to it, but they didn't say how. I've so. opened it at its bookmark. The stone from the stars is a window on all time and space. It is within it that the haunter sleeps while the yellow sun reigns. And it is from its circular gate that the haunter's incomplete form rises when the words are spoken. Nor shall he ever rise in his true form until the forbidden book be by his side. No end to the work. Sorry, what is it you said? Only they yeah, know how to get in there? they didn't say how. Yeah. No, they did not. I've opened it at its bookmark. It is known that touching the stone from the stars might cast upon a mortal being the mark of the hunter. But none should do it unless prepared to face his cold black flames and turn to ashes and dust. No living soul can know whom the haunter chooses to mark and grant vision beyond time and place. No end to the work. Okay, so those are lighting up. Two greens. I've opened it at its bookmark. For the butcher is the end of all, and the followers of him who lingers at the night's threshold must keep the slaying one from ever setting eye or laying hand upon the book. The butcher brings but the rest is unreadable. The butcher, huh? Ah, fresh meat. Okay. Weird. Things are happening. Earn. I have no use for former cultists in ash form or not. Okay. Skip. Wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah, I know I don't get enough vitamin D, but this is not the time or place. <laughs> uh, what else is left? Sentence. It's just a drawing. Eerie, but a drawing. Take the lens? I don't think I can pry it out with my bare hands. Uh, use the rag on it. I'll need to take a closer look first. Looks to be quite powerful. It's a magnifying lens. The convex type. Now try it. I don't think I can pry it out with my... I'll need to take... What? 
an immense rusty telescope hanging intimidatingly overhead. Its most interesting feature, a big convex magnifying lens. Yeah, where did you get that, buddy? Oh, wait, uh... Hi here. Weep! Oh, come on. Oh, neat. What do you mean, closer look? Can you not use the item on it while you zoomed in? These dummies tried their best to tear the windows up, but an intense orange light symbolically shines through. It bathes the crazy matchstick structure in a warm glow that strikingly contrasts with the whole I want the lens thing. to light the matches right. on fire. Dust motes in the light and everything. Nice. <laughs> well, need to take a closer I don't think look that's first. the... Okay, dude. Yeah. A delicate and intricate latticework of what looked to be matches. Surrounding some jagged, shimmering stone and somehow supporting the kind of cannonball what looks like he was made to bring down battleships. I realize how crazy that sounds, yet here it is before. What all we got in this room? It's made out of matches. Matches. Oh, I know what it matches. is. I know what the answer is. Hmm. Matches. We gotta play match three? <laughs> no. We gotta rub this tar. This, tar. this rag ain't nearly martial enough to clean it. Nope. I want the tar. Give me the tar. Looks like these cuckoo birds tried to... Uh, can I I'd take play... the tar? Why not just buy... Nah, what, a... what do we got going on, right. What else uh, do we have in this room? Uh, a light beam cannonball, blah blah. Oh That's yeah, there is a drawer. Cold scratch. Looks to symbolize that shine rock on the pedestal. Open the drawer. Inside the dusty drawer, there was one solitary rusty spoon. Unwritten private investigator wisdom says you never know when you could use a rusty spoon. He has a point. Always carry a spoon. Uh. I oh, there you go. The spoon in between the lens and the metal me. covering it. He just chucked Voila. the spoon. Out. The lens was now mine. You never know when you're never gonna need a spoon again. Oh. I clean it. That's if you gotta take a closer look. You need to actually have it. Good thing that didn't destroy the arcane artifact. Sweet. You're lucky that I didn't fall on your unshoed feet, dude. Uh, I'm just gonna grab that. Yeah. You sure you wanna. I might turn you to ash. Apparently well, not. it's a thing that has been done now. I most certainly did not burst into cold black flames. So much for this numbskull cult's credibility. It did feel, uh, weird. Weird. I think I'm getting high. Contact high. This statue, this trapezohedron, is made of pure THC. Uh, can I use the thing on no, the light beam? It shines already. I can get out, right? Okay. Uh, can I leave now? Barricaded hmm. from the other side. Makes sense that they'd shut me in. Yeah, we already saw that one. Can't do anything with this thing. I thought I'd say this, but... Uh... I need something stout and... Back in here. Is there anything in here that we can use? Distracted as... Nope. Barrel? Oh! If I wanted any time... Can we grab the... the cannonball? That might make us heavy enough. Oh. Maybe. Uh, oh, yes, there we go. Cannonball, gimme. Why are you going around that way? I don't know. Who knows the mind of the detective? 
Uh, all right, and now we get the thing. All right, I am now one cannonball heavier. Let's see what happens. That was a first, and a last. Worth the wait. That was how full. Whack the back ho, ho, ho. I'm using. Uh. Not by itself. Oh, it has a hole in it. It would almost fit, but it'd be too loose. I need a tar. Stick that. Stick, stick it in tar. In tar. I missed it. Let's get this stick, uh, sticky. Alright, we have a sticky stick. Okay. A sledgehammer. I can dig it. Yeah, it'll just fucking bash it right out of here, then. There's just one thing I want to say before I do it. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna pick? <laughs> Those who could give up essential liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Freedom is what we do with what is done. Those to who us. deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. Hammer time. <laughs> oh. uh, I think they missed some interstitial well, piece smacked there. It open and then it went yeah, but oh, now we have the power. Fishmouth. I oh. guess we'll explore Fishmouth next time on character select. Next time, oh, God. character select. All right, you two, here we are. Ugh. Just call me when you need my services. I'm getting as far away from this dump as you got a taxi, man. See you. Yep. Thanks. So right. here we are, we, Kitty. We need to wrap it up. <sighs> Is this foul, rotting sea life odor in any way mouthwatering to you? Please, it's sickening, and I'd literally rather be anywhere else right now, but we've got a job to do. Let's find Finman's before we revisit my lunch and dinner. Alright, so thank you very much everybody for watching. Make sure to click that like button <laughs> if you liked it. And next time, this time we're actually going to explore Christmas. I'm going to go through all the references that are on this page. All of them. Every last one. You won't leave wow. until you clicked on everything. <laughs>